You should be making a lot more money with your social media. And I know digital marketing is only ever getting more complicated and confusing and expensive. So today I'm gonna to show you three different many chat flows that I'm currently using so you can copy and steal your way to success for damn near zero dollars. Now I'm using these flows on local businesses like my wife's Pilates business, as well as hundred million dollar supplement companies. Now, before we get started, there are two things you need to know. First, every many chat flow requires a trigger. This could be somebody sending a DM to the Instagram account or Facebook page, or somebody commenting on a piece of content. The second thing you need to know is you can 100% do this. So to get started, I'm gonna show you the exact flow that I use to acquire nearly a thousand customers with a business I took from 15 million to over a hundred million in less than 20 months. Let's go. Now, the first thing is the trigger. When user sends a message, gift card or gift card. Now, it's important to know that ManyChat is not case sensitive, meaning you can have it be all uppercase, all lowercase, maybe one letter uppercase, so one letter lowercase. Back in the day, that didn't used to be the case, and to make sure that we were good, I just put it in both ways. Now, this is a simple two-step automation where we're gonna ask somebody to confirm their information and then send them the gift card. One thing I wanna point out before we get any further is that of the 960 people that we sent this to, 100% of them opened. Of that, nearly 75% of those people actually clicked through and got their gift card. You're never gonna find that kind of open rate or click through rate with a Facebook ad. You're never gonna find that with an email or phone calls, even text messages. You won't even find that in person, the ability to get three quarters of people to stop give you their information so that you can give them a gift card for a future purchase. This is more powerful than anything else. And you'll never have to do this work ever again, and it'll do it for free. Okay, so let's break down this automation. Now, now when you're setting up your automation, you just click on this then button and you drag it over to what you wanna do next. Simple. So step two of our automation is our flow. Now in our flow, let's click here so we can edit. We have a simple statement. Click on the email below to confirm that this is your preferred email address. If you'd like us to send it somewhere else, please tell us. Now, this is what they call a free keyboard input, meaning people can type in whatever they want. What we're looking for is in the reply type. We've defined it as email. Now, the reason this is important is anybody with a Facebook account has given Facebook an email and some version of a first name and a last name, probably a phone number and probably a lot more information along the years as well. When we say email, that's actually gonna say to that person, hey, is this your email? And in this spot, somebody can simply click yes. Now, if they decide to type it in, we're gonna save this response to a custom field called the audience user email. Now, that's what I've defined it. You can call it whatever you want. Once this action is successful, meaning somebody has clicked the button or typed it in, we're gonna move on to the next step, which brings us down here. Now, in this step, we have inserted what we call a card. Now, a card is not just the gift card. It also means that we're gonna insert an image with some text and a button. Now, this text, you can have it be full screen, you can have it be smaller, it really doesn't matter. I've never seen this really make any difference. I prefer to keep the entire thing as small and as compact as possible. When the message is bigger than the screen you're giving it and somebody has to scroll up and down, they'll get confused. When somebody sees this $10 gift card in their flow, they know exactly what they're looking for. Because remember, they also asked for it. They literally messaged us, gift card. And then they wrote in their email address or confirmed that the one on file is the one that they use. Now remember, not everybody uses their primary email to sign up for social media accounts. My wife, for instance, actually sends all of her marketing efforts to some burner email so that her personal email never gets too inundated with nonsense. So somebody might very well choose to not send it to the email address that they've signed up for their Facebook or Instagram account. Now, below here, we have a button. This right here is the text of the button, and we can put in here in our card URL where we want people to go. 
Now, for instance, this is 310 forward slash pages forward slash get 10 card, the $10 off card. After that, we're including the user email and some other information so that we can customize that card when they land on the page to make sure that it's actually the right person, which is a whole other thing. We also have the opportunity to put in some text below, which you can see here. So we can say, hey, free 310 gift card, get a $10 gift card in your email. Now, some people might not realize that this is a button. So ManyChat includes the option for a button down here. Or if you wanted to give people multiple choices, you could have multiple choices of buttons down here. For instance, you might use this to say, well, do you want group classes? Do you want one-on-ones? Or do you just want pricing? That could be three different buttons. This is a great way to send people to whatever it is that they're looking for in a way that doesn't require you to have to answer DMs ever again. Now this button has a URL itself. We can title this button. In this case, it's click for gift card. However, you can put in any 20 characters you want. When this button is pressed, send somebody to this URL. Now we've got some dynamic elements in here because we're trying to track the username and the first name. And that way when you go to the website, it says, hey, are you Charlie? Is this your email address? Click below and we'll send it to you. All of that fun stuff. Now we could easily go in and make this more complicated or add some more functionality, but we're not gonna do that today. Last thing we wanna do is hit update to make sure that what we've done saves. Now bonus points if you're looking at this and asking, what are these yellow things? Well, these yellow things allow me to tag, for instance, that somebody out of the 44,000 that have gone into our many chat for this brand, these are the folks that have taken the messenger gift card in this flow. And we also have the ability to subscribe them to other flows. For instance, a comment to gift card that has a follow-up conversation. And you don't need to be more complicated. Now, if you do wanna get more complicated to maybe close in the DMs, set up sales calls or appointments with your customers, let me show you exactly what that looks like. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at what our trigger is, right? So that's our first part here. Now our first trigger here is actually another flow. Remember that last step from the previous example where it subscribes somebody to a sequence? Well, I have that as one of the triggers for this flow. I also have the ability for anybody who comments the word disrupt on any post or reel on my Instagram account to trigger this flow. You can say all posts or next post, or you can select individual ones specifically. Now, what I recommend is just say all posts. That way, when we hit save, we can say anyone who comments disrupt on any post. Now, the reason for that is that I could put up a post every day or once a month that throws in that CTA on the post where comment below to get X. And as long as I put all, then anytime I tell people to do that, this will automatically fire to any of those posts. Meaning I only have to do this work once and it'll apply to everything. Now I know you love this video and if you're ready to become truly elite at Facebook marketing and business growth, check this out, bam. There's the QR code for the Facebook Ads MBA program. This is what I would do if I took over your business and I will work with you directly to never need anybody else ever again. I've had hundreds of people go through this and no one who's ever done the work has ever asked for their money back. This is the single greatest investment you can make in growing your skills and your business. All right, that being said, let's get back to the video. So we have our two triggers here. Let's get into how this all works. This is again a two-part flow, but the second part is complicated. So we're gonna break it down step by step. Now, the first part, we just have simply, hey, first name, thanks for connecting. And yeah, I know your name because you signed up for Facebook or Instagram, and you probably gave them your name. And if it wasn't a real name, well, hey, I don't know any better. But it shows a little bit of personalization and connection. And I have noticed tremendous boost in performance when you mention somebody's first name. Is it okay if I ask you a couple of quick questions first to see if I can be of any help to you? 
This is really important. And if you're a local business, I'm sure you've gotten on phone calls with people where it was a complete waste of your time. Let's screen some of those people out. Also, somebody might have just typed that keyword in by mistake. If your word isn't very unique, it could easily just happen. You might just type in disrupt randomly in some comment and you didn't want this flow at all, in which case I'm not gonna annoy you further. You're opting in to seeing future communication. And that is really, really important. So let's say you click yes by this button. Now, if I wanted to get more buttons, I could say quick reply. I could say Instagram. I could do an AI step. I could do any sort of thing. But I just have a quick button. You also have options to have a quick reply. If somebody hasn't engaged, do you want to send something to them? In this case, no. If you're not interested, I don't want to bother you. And that really is the best way of moving forward. I find overly aggressive many chat flows to be incredibly effective ways of just making sure nobody ever buys from you. Now, this is step one. Let's get to step two. This is what I called the flow. Now, full disclosure, I have about a 75% completion rate of the flow. And of the people who get on a sales call, um, well, business is good. I'm not often wasting my time because you have to jump through a lot of hoops to get there, which is what we call disqualification and is incredibly important. So let me walk you through this flow. First thing says, hey, thanks, first name. And if you notice, there's this option to wait. Now we can always Take these away, we can add them in. If you notice, this one has an add button. If I wanted to add buttons in here and make this more complicated, I could. But we're not gonna do that. Okay, so we're just gonna get rid of, we're just gonna move on. We don't need a button here. So we're gonna go in here and hit remove. Boom, in case you accidentally add one, that's how you get rid of it. So we're gonna wait three seconds and say, by the way, what's your email in case I lose you? You know, to be fair, this is a long conversation. It might ask you a question that you're not ready for, or you might get distracted. Let me get your email address. Then I'll say, got it, thanks. Then move into the, to be a successful MBA program student requires about two to three hours a week. And we're not gonna go through each step here, but the point is, I'm now asking you questions to say, is this something that you can do, yes or no? And based on those responses, we're gonna continue to move forward where I'm then gonna say, hey, do you already run ads? Now, if you're a fitness studio, I could say, hey, look, we don't want somebody that's only gonna come in one hour a week. Do you already work out? Things like that, like now, or maybe you have a roofing business. You could ask somebody if they have a current problem or if they're looking to make an investment in fixing their existing situation. If there's an immediate problem, we could respond back, here's my emergency number. If it's an investment in improving their situation, we can continue to go down. You can tell me more about it. The point is, think about what you would do in real life, and then you can just automate it. And based on this, I'll say, hey, what's your current spend, give or take? I tell you a little bit about me to help you earn some trust. And is, let me ask you about your problems. Is this something you want help with? I appreciate you opening up with me. I have a video that explains more about what the MBA program is. Click this button to go there. By the way, this button, same thing that we had for the gift card, exact same thing. And if you wanna add a button, it's as simple as add button. And we gotta go to website, hit open website, drop it in. Right, and remember, if you put in a button and you didn't mean to, you can just go here, remove, and get rid of it. And I'll also ask people, hey, if you're ready to get on a call, just let me know, click here to apply, and you click there, and it brings you to a type form, which puts you through an application process. Now, this flow takes the average person three to five minutes to get through. But like I said, the close rate on this is tremendous. And if you go back through this video and stop and pause, you'll be able to copy and paste your way through everything. Or just type disrupt on any of my Instagram posts and literally just copy all of it. Go for it. Now, the last thing I wanna show you here is, what if we just wanna drive people to a website? Maybe we have a great offer. Maybe we've got a wonderful Mother's Day sale or Black Friday sale. We're gonna do special weekend hours. 
maybe we've got a pop-up coming into our location, or we're running a special on everyone who wants to get their air conditioning fixed this weekend. Whatever it happens to be. What if we want to just drive somebody to a specific website? Let me show you how I drive people to YouTube with Instagram posts. So when we're in automation, we're just gonna type in show me so we can see the automations, boom. This has been used 752 times, 504, just on the latest video that I've attached this to. Now, remember, step one is a trigger. What are we gonna actually trigger? This is anybody on all posts or reels, let's go to the edit just to be sure. All posts or reels, you hit this little down arrow and get to the next spot that comments show me, yep, is gonna see this. Now, one of the things that I wanna be very mindful here, I've turned off the public reply. If you have many chat commenting back to somebody with something like sent the link over, done, sent, check your DMs, I'm noticing more and more accounts get flagged and banned and deactivated because of this. So just turn it off. It was an old hack to get more engagement, but you don't need that. So what happens here after the trigger is I'm gonna send you a message in Instagram that says, in this case, flexible ads are here. There's the link as promised, here's your link. And also I'm gonna add in a button because not everybody's gonna be able to click on this. Maybe you're on your phone, maybe you don't realize it's clickable. So let's also add in a button. And when you click that button, it brings you directly to YouTube, all right? So done. That's what this is. Now, I also, if you've noticed, I have a tag here that says YT Promo Clicker. I wanna know, out of all the people in my contacts, how many folks have clicked on a YouTube promotion? This means I could reach out to them later for some certain reason, or there's a million different uses for that, and I don't really wanna get into all of those today. Think of it just like you do email or anything else. Now, the one thing that we haven't covered yet that I really wanna specify is extremely important. Whenever you do any of these builds, go ahead and hit preview. You wanna make sure that this actually works the way you wanted it to. And you wanna make sure it sends people to the right page. Now that you know how to use many chat DM automations, you can copy and steal your way to success. I made a whole series of videos that dives deep into every one of these topics. So click on the video here to get started and I'll see you there.